Blue and Green by Virginia Woolf Green The ported fingers of glass hang downwards. The light slides down a glass and drops a pool of green. All day long the ten fingers of the luster drop green upon the marble. The feathers of parakeets, their harsh cries, sharp blades of palm trees, green too, green needles glittering in the sun. But the hard glass drips onto the marble, the pools hover above the desert sand, the camels slurch through them, the pools settle on the marble, brushes edge them, weeds clog them, here and there a white blossom, the frog flops over. At night, the stars are set there and broken. Evening comes and the shadow sweeps the green over the mantelpiece, the ruffled surface of ocean. No ships come. The aimless waves sway beneath the empty sky. It's night. The needles drip blots of blue. The green's out. Blue. The snub-nosed monster rises to the surface and spouts through his blunt nostrils two columns of water, which, fiery white in the center, spray off into a fringe of blue beads. Strokes of blue line the black tarpaulin of his hide. Slushing the water through mouth and nostrils, he sinks, heavy with water, and the blue closes over him, dousing the polished pebbles of his eyes. Thrown upon the beach he lies, blunt, obtuse, shedding dry blue scales. Their metallic blue stains the rusty iron on the beach. Blue are the ribs of the wrecked rowing boat. A wave rolls beneath the blue bells. But the cathedral's different. Cold, incense-laden, faint blue with the veils of Madonna's. End of Blue and Green by Virginia Woolf